We are on 192 at the Visitor's Flea Market. This place is real close to Disney World. Yeah. In fact, it's off Osceola Parkway to International Drive South. I, I would say probably about three minutes. But we're From at the this, entrance. Yeah. But we are at this flea market because inside they have a very nifty store uh, called Booster Packs and Beyond. Yes, like and to infinity and beyond with Booster Packs. We yeah. did a vlog about Disney pin stores before, like the Character Corner. This place has awesome pins. And they also have great old school Disney memorabilia. They have a lot of great stuff to offer. So we're gonna go in the flea market to get to this to show you guys some of the great finds that you can get from this store. Yeah. And we'll give you the directions and location, everything like that in the description below. But uh let's if you go like do this. trading, you'll like this. You'll like it. Flea market is right across from Old Town by the World Food Truck Fair and Machine Gun America. <laughs> There's plenty of different shops in here uh, but the one shop that we're gonna go to in particular is actually fairly close to the entrance and we'll show you exactly how we get there so when you're coming across the pool floaties right before the food court restroom sign you just make a little left here and it's smack dead in the middle and here it is booster packs and beyond this place is phenomenal we did a quick overview of the stuff that they have here and we were impressed so we decided to pull out the camera show it off a little come along <laughs> not only do they have pins they have funko pops ears magic bands magnets yeah some really old vintage figurines some newer figurines collectibles just basically Disney, Disney, Disney. Can we show off what I want to show off first? Absolutely. Look at this. K9 Crunchies. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, she moves. Nate. I know. Oh my goodness. Gracious. It is a huge statue. It is $300 also. $300, but I mean, it's, it's beautiful. We're going to get to all the pins because that's mainly what the store features is pins. And they have good ways that they actually categorize them all. We're going to get to it a little bit more in depth after we look at some of the other stuff. But you can see all the different frames at the bottom. They're all individually labeled like Nightmare Before Christmas, Beauty and the Beast. And they have tons and tons of pins. With the not so scary Halloween party around the corner here, or actually already happening, they do have plenty, plenty of old school not so scary Halloween party. Like this is 2017's Hocus Pocus. And look at this fine. 2015 Halloween party limited edition. That's really awesome, isn't it? 19 bucks. Love it. I know. I'm actually interested in this. Oh my. So if you guys come looking for this, it might be gone because we might get it. <laughs> <laughs> Down here, they have the 2014 not so scary Halloween party pin collectible sets in the pumpkins. That's pretty awesome. They even have the 2015 Not So Scary Halloween Party pens. Boogie boogie. Oh. And then this just pops out. This is basically a just whole entire section of Halloween parties from different 2003. years. 2003. 2008. This is awesome. 2011. Wow. Oh my goodness. Uh, 2002. These, 2002. 2001. I'm counting wow. down. I'm counting Trying down. To find the oldest one. 2007. No. They I'd have say 2001 lot. would be the oldest one. 2004. Yeah, I think 2001. 2002. That's awesome. That was back when the Halloween parties were the same as they are now. Yeah. <laughs> I figured it was relevant to show off most of the Not So Scary Halloween Party because that's kind of what's going on in my head now. We just attended the first night of the Halloween Party and I've just been thinking, Halloween Party, Halloween Party. Since then, we definitely have to get back. They have a lot more of those awesome sculptures or figurines like Mickey Mouse here goof but this right here I love this wow I feel it might be a little fragile for me to be picking up but I love that that is amazing it is pretty amazing these statues just keep popping up and I love them Jimmy Cricket Pinocchio I love it bashful oh look at he's so bashful yes you are you're very bashful 
that the Haunted Mansion layout? Yes, look at the Haunted Mansion layout. This is $19 and it's the first floor. Game room, kitchen. Wow, I love that. That'll go good with that picture we just got in the mail. I know, I know. Oh man. And like I said, lots of pop vinyls, $13 each. And they have all of the Disney characters. Meg, Phil, Merida, Mulan, Miko. Wow, there's some- Timotoa! Timotoa! <laughs> wow! Oh, look at the witch. That is Ooh. scary. There is a lot. These are awesome. Oogie Boogie! Why do we not collect these? Because we don't have room for that. <laughs> I love it. Simba! Simba? They have some more collectibles in this case here. Like Flower and Garden Festival 2013. Pass holder coins, Hollywood Studios, Star Tours, 2011, some old Coke bottles. Look at this. Main Street, one-way transportation. transportation. That is awesome. I like that a lot. You can see all different things. Some cast member service awards. I don't know how people get rid of that. I would I don't never know. be able to get rid of that. It's really nifty. I like this clock, Look at that though. Mickey Mouse clock. I know. Wow. They also have some very cool other things like look at this little statue of Mary Poppins $20 that's a good deal 13 is that the 13th hour I don't know I don't know there is a cool nifty haunted mansion frame in Isn't the back there I've never seen that before I have never seen that either oh how about this snow white golden anniversary like what do you call that a plate uh yeah i think it's those things that a go under a stove. plate oh maybe the drip pans for under a stove i like it though it's a plate so not only do they have older stuff and pins but they do have all the current and well up-to-date mini ears and 24.99 in the park and there are only 17 here you can save a couple bucks i even see a pair of millennial pink and rose gold ears they also have some cool jewelry, some Alex and Annie's up there. I see that. Oh, Oswald that's Oswald. Ones. Yeah. Is that Maui's hook? I think it is. Ooh, it is Maui's hook. That's neat. I know. I do like all of these, actually. These are all the like, newer stuff. That I know. That just came yeah, out. Yeah, there's those Haunted Mansion earrings I wanted. Oh, Wait. The, the watch that has the yes, different parties. Yes, remember I was going to get that? Yes, bill? look, you see, like, they have the Mickey Halloween, the Christmas. So Thanks you can change your uh, watch band according to the season or holiday. It's pretty nifty. This is something really cool. Limited edition art and pin collectibles. Like, look at this one. They have the up, one of the, like, the big pins. Oh my goodness. Up with the little photo sill. And then they got Lady and the Tramp, Mickey and Minnie. They have a whole bunch of them. Magical monorail. <gasps> I love it. Wow. I like this one the most. Oh yeah. That is awesome. There's the man himself. Yeah. Out of everything I've ever seen pin related, this takes the cake. Look it in the back there. That They're is stretching amazing. portrait sets. And I'm guessing that lifts up. Mm -hmm. And like the portraits lift up and the pins, pins. Yeah, the, the portraits are the pins. That's amazing. And they have this whole entire thing. Look at the hallway to the wow. Haunted Mansion right there. Wow. I love this. The keyboard, this. the piano, the yes. organ, I mean. Took me three tries. This is so wonderful here. If you're a Haunted Mansion fan, wow. Look at that. Wow is, wait, what? breathtaking look at that one down there that's the haunted mansion in disneyland wow i get so excited about this this is something worth coming to check out right yeah, here like, it's really neat yeah so here is a price list of the pins you can see they're color coordinated so we'll grab potato head for an example and he is yellow and that means he's five dollars potato head Oh, of course, Looking. Veronica finds some Dalmatian pins. I already know this one's yellow because I already looked. Oh, you already pencil. looked it up? Yeah. But you know what I've seen over here? These cool figment ones. Look at that. And, and oh what? my word. What, what, what? Big Al. <laughs> <laughs> How much is Big Al? <laughs> he's purple, so he's 10 bucks. That's awesome. <laughs> right here. Oh, any of the limited edition ones are actually individually priced. So for instance, this pizza planner one 
is $40. It's and pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And they also have some limited edition Jungle Cruise ones for $23. I like this. I like it a lot. We'll check out this case right here because there's some really good hidden gems in here. New Fantasyland opening, grand opening 2012. Look at this. Cluster sets down below. El Capitan, Hocus Pocus. I love it. These are awesome. Disneyland's 60th, the diamond. Wow. Look at, you got Sebastian, Jafar, Mr. Toad. How much I miss Mr. Toad. I miss him too. <laughs> Look at these windows of evil ones too. I like the Oogie Boogie. I like him too. <laughs> you can tell how much we like. Oh, the Toy Story Land one that's there. How much we like what? Haunted Mansion and Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Disney Vacation member 2018. Not us. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> these pins are really cool because they're beloved tail series limited edition but the beloved scratched off and it's dark and look at that captain hook i love it oh happy mother's day moana <laughs> oh there's a gold el capitana and that's for Capitan. the new beauty and the beast capitan capitan uh, capitan capitan <laughs> I'm a big fan of like the framed pin sets, like this Haunted Mansion one up here. Look at that, that is a beaut. But there's a lot of them. Like the war, oh, I almost had a speech impediment issue there. It was the tattoo. Yep, the royal windows. Look at that, it has all the princesses in the windows from Cinderella's castle. Lots of cool framed pin sets. Oh, I like this over here, this is, uh. New fantasy land right here. Look at that. A very Merry Christmas 2009 pin set right there. Friday the 13th at the Haunted Mansion. That's pretty awesome right there. And there's a Nurses Day 2017. Oh, they have a Nurse Day with Minnie for 2002. I'm actually yelling this to Veronica. I you may know she's a nurse, so I'm like, hey, look! Oh, I love that Nurses Day one. Yes. It's, look at another cool little collectible. The 50th anniversary of the New York World's Fair. Isn't that awesome? Look, they have a Carousel of Progress, Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. It's a Small World. And fun fact, I guess I did not know Primeval World was at the World's Fair. What was? Primeval World. Was it? Was it? Yes. Well, Primeval World Dino Rama. Right here, they have the pin for it. I have to look into this, but that's pretty amazing. I think it was more of an animatronic show, actually. More, but I feel like it drew a little inspiration from that to actually make Dino Rama at Animal Kingdom. There really are so many pins. We couldn't even begin to go over how much they have here, actually. It may be the world's biggest pin store, actually. Don't quote me on that. I don't know, but it is definitely a massive collection. I'm gonna give you a little lower angle shot of what it's like, actually, so you can have a preference. All of these binders and these frames, the walls, look at this. And everything's individually marked, like Jungle Book, Robin Hood, Cars. Look at that, and it just goes round and round round and round the walls are covered there's glass cases everywhere it's 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 amazing so they're not only labeled after characters they're also labeled after like certain events and stuff like that like here are state ones so you can find out what state you are or they have dvc d23 chase cards that's awesome. Park event. Look at that. Oh, I like this park event. We're going to get a closer look at this one. Look at this. These are all park events Thank for you. DVC. Hollywood Studios. Epcot. Amazing. They even have some old school. Well, these are actually Disney name tags from former cast members. Like that one's from 2000, Terry, Terry, Don, Diane. 
That's really cool. I actually had one of these for my name. So very fun fact, this was in an executive's office right here. And these are the villages, but they're not any of them from Epcot. So it makes it actually more valuable because they had like individual pins for all the different countries in Epcot. But these ones are special because they were not a part of Epcot. But if you look right in the middle there, I see a Brazil one, and you know what the rumor is. A Brazil country is coming to Epcot. Well, we don't know, but that is a rumor. One thing I gotta say about this little store is some of the things are very expensive because they're well worth it. And there's also amazing deals, but the coolest thing is just coming and looking at some of them, learning a little back history about it, and like special events and stuff like that. Like we've seen McDonald's pins from when there was a McDonald's in Disney Springs, when I noticed that the 50th anniversary of the fair and they had the Dino-Rama there, I didn't know that. And I would have never known that unless I noticed it here. Look at this gigantic pin right here for Pirates of the Caribbean. That is massive. Hand for scale. No, let me. Your hand, you can't reach it. No, I can't, can I? Nope. Oh. <laughs> they also have some Christmas ornaments from special stuff like Run Disney 2017, some Hocus Pocus ones, some princesses. Oh, I like that Dumbo one right there. Boom. So that's just about it. I mean, like I said, I wish we had the time and resources to go through and show you every single pin, but I think we'd be here for like 15 to 20 years. We're also not, we don't know much about pins. Yes, we're actually learning a lot. Yeah, we're learning. We and learned a lot here actually. Yeah, this place is pretty amazing. One of my new favorite spots I gotta check out frequently. Yeah. They're very helpful. Very close to Disney. I didn't know what was going on. So we will show, we will put the address in the description below give you some information that you can reach out to them and uh, yeah you should definitely check this place out if you're in the area so love the life you live love the life you love and we'll see you next time bye bye wait what was that from stay weird star tours oh bye bye oh thank you Jenna for